All right, guys, so we're going to go over what we use for our close quarters weapons. Typically, uh, what we will run is MPPVs. And the reason we run the MPPVs is because most of these guns have a high fire rate. And these are guns I'm more likely to use on full auto when I'm in a pinch and really close to someone than I would with, say, the RSASs, the SR25s at range, right? Um, so we run six mags and one obviously on our gun and and the reason for that is because i'm a solo player i play solo so when i'm running around and i'm closing in on the enemy and i'm just i'm trying to destroy them a lot of times i may end up mag dumping and if you mag dump effectively 20 rounds in a magazine is usually enough to kill three players if you're hitting them accurately and not over spraying right and by that, I mean overspraying as in um, you've killed them. They haven't animated to where they've made a death scream and fell over yet. Um, and you fire maybe an additional three to four rounds, right? And I always assume with every person that I'm going to shoot at that it's going to take a minimum of two rounds to the chest and up to five rounds everywhere else. You know, if I'm hitting chest, arm, arm, leg, stomach, you know, chest, I assume that that's going to take five hits to kill a man, at least with M61, right? But those are things I put into factor in why I build my actual MPPVs this way, or the multi-purpose vest. All right, guys, so we're going to go over the MDRs. These are what I like to use for close quarters uh, for the most part. Uh, we do have some builds where we run them with an IR Reaper as well, and even you know the PSO, like the bigger scopes. Um, this is an all-around good gun. It's good single fire. It's good full auto. Um, it's it's effective range to me for my personal use and comfort levels is 25, 30 meters. That's as far as I'll full auto with this gun. Um, the main reason I would full auto with this gun at that distance is if maybe there's more than one person down the hallway or inside the room. Most of the time, if you guys are catching me in stream, you're going to see that we are point firing for majority of um, so the reason we run a flashlight on this variant right here is because this is our close quarters build for labs. Uh, we use this in labs because the flashlight actually blinds the NPCs. Uh, flashlights don't work on players. Uh, sometimes it kind of does. Like I've been kind of blinded by players, but it's not as effective as you would think, right? It's very effective when scabs use it on you, but not when other players. Um, so we typically will run this just because of that. The biggest issue I have with using a flashlight is just make sure aiming down sights slower. Uh, the amount of time you can hold this gun up will, you know, decrease a little bit. It's not a lot, uh, but it is what it is. All right, so this is going to be our second variant of our close quarters weapons. This is actually close quarters and mid mid range because. Uh, we use the IR7s, which are the big the thermal uh, goggles that are like 1.8 to 6 mil, depending on how much players are selling them for. It could be anywhere between there. Um, so <clears throat> those uh, thermal goggles are actually pretty cool. And a lot of people don't realize you can use iron sights with them. So you don't, you're not forced to use anything else other than iron sights. Um, you could use iron sights and a flashlight. It's what I typically use on reserve. Uh, the flashlight is more for blinding players and scabs. And I think, and I cannot 100% confirm this, but I'm pretty sure that if players are wearing night vision goggles, the flashlight will still blind them because you blind yourself if you're wearing night vision plus a flashlight. So I'm pretty sure that still works. That's how I run it. Uh, I haven't done very many night raids for the last month, actually, because it's just, it's not worth it. So I haven't run night raids in probably about a month now. Uh, we kind of fell off on those because it's just not as fun as doing regular day raids. Um, the people who are watching my stream can't see much. And generally, if you're just playing the game at night, you can't see much, right? I mean, the IR7s allow you to see a lot. Um, but they do have disadvantages. Inside buildings, you will have a very hard time seeing stuff. 
especially if like there's a lot of heat inside the building. It's like uh, sometimes you can't even see when you're walking upstairs, for instance, you won't be able to see where you can turn because there's too much passive heat in the area. So it's kind of interesting. Other MDR that we use is our no light variant. And as you can see, this one gives us three more ergonomics because we're not running a flashlight. Um, now you could throw a, a laser on there if you want. Um, for me, point firing this weapon just with the silencer is super easy up to 15 meters to 20 meters, sometimes even further out than that. These are my MDRs I like to use, and this is my favorite gun out of all the guns I play with in this game. It's got such a nice fire rate, its recoil is very manageable. So when you full auto this weapon, your, your rounds stay in a very tight circle, and you don't really have to adjust much, if that makes any sense, to bring that recoil pattern down or tighten it. All right, let's move on to the valves. So with the as valves, um, this is our second favorite close quarters weapon, right? The ASVAL and the VSS are just a force to reckon with. Um, close quarters, most players in the game are using level five armor. And if you're using SP6 or SPP, those have very good damage towards level five armor. Um, same with the BP. BP actually just shreds level five armor so it's like a four or five hits to the chest and most people are dead um with ssp and the sp6 the only difference in those two rounds is the spp actually has better accuracy than the sp6 uh, but the rounds that i use 100 percent of the time are bp because i don't go in hoping to only fight people with level um, five armor. I, I go in expecting to fight geared players in full sixth gear, you know? All right, so the ASVALs and the VSSs, as you can see, the, the big difference between these is the ergonomics. <clears throat> so the ASVAL that I have built here runs 61 erg and then 46 recoil and then 82 side to side recoil. Now this gun is uh, very effective 50 meters and under. And with this type of erg, you're able to snap on target hella fast and it has no recoil, like no recoil. This recoil range basically means you can hold down the trigger and you're gonna see tight groups on your targets, especially under 50 yards. If you're firing at someone over 50 yards, you actually have to, you have to aim lower. Does that make any sense? Um, the VSS though is what I like to use over the ASVAL, right? And the reason we use this PK-06, guys, is because to me, it's the most accurate sight up to 50 yards, right? Um, when we get into a fresh game, we always put our, our page up, put the range up to 50, and then we push through the rest of the game and try to keep most of our engagements 50 and under. This thing pops heads, guys. These, like, oh, you have an Alton on level five helmet? doesn't matter this thing goes right through the only thing i think you'd have problems with with this weapon is level six armor uh so level six armor even with bp i think it still takes about eight to twelve rounds to kill players like for full fort i'm not very sure about the zuck armors i honestly have not used the asval or vss as much this patch as i did in previous patches but i have used it enough you know before i got to end game which was where I am now to realize that the BP rounds do still shred level six armor. I'm not having to dump two mags into a person. It's it's basically two thirds of my mag should kill someone in fort if I'm aiming center mass. But remember guys, you don't want to aim center mass unless it's all you can do, right? Priority should always be headshots in this game. First shots, if you're doing single taps, always to the head. And hopefully you're using the right ammo to get the job done. Right. With that, guys, this is the only two types of weapons I personally use in close quarters, and this is how I keep my survival rate up. This is how I am able to ensure that I live a majority of my games that I play. Um, I'm, I'm a solo player, so I methodically kill people. I don't just run around and jump and do all those things. I slowly 
execute one player after another until I kill them all. I do not, I do not just run around and jump. To me, that's unrealistic. It does work. There are a lot of dudes who are really good at it. I know what my skill set is, and I know I don't have that yet. So, uh, another note: when we run the Asvals, if we're doing like customs or shoreline, we bring an extra two hundred rounds, right? With you know, usually five mags plus one in the gun and the reason for that is is just to be able to deal with multiple players or multiple teams if there's a team of five and then another team of three comes up i'm going to be reloading in the middle as the third party happens or as i finish killing players i always reload typically before i'm looting or while i'm looting so that i'm doing more than one thing at a time so i'm searching bodies and reloading i'm always dumping rounds into my max because you never know when the next engagement is going to be that i hope this is some uh, good advice for you guys i hope you guys can, can use some of these weapons and um hopefully you guys uh escape tarkov like the rest of us are trying to do and you have a wonderful day oh also guys i don't run this backpack in any other maps except for uh reserve uh this is not the go-to backpack for me in reserve Actually, <clears throat> my go-to backpack is always going to be a Beta 2. Um, the reason for the Beta 2 is if I kill someone with the Tri-Zip or one of these backpacks, if we were to look inside here, if we were to go inside this backpack, look at how much extra space we get. Uh, this doesn't matter. Uh, so with all this extra space, that just means the uh, servers crashed again. Um, so with all this extra space, this gives us an extra gun we can throw in here and we get to keep our backpack.